After 40 years at the University of California, San Francisco, I decided it was time to try to take what I had learned and translate it into both workshops and online tools that people could use. And that's why I formed the Paul Ekman Group. But it became clear after a number of years in the Paul Ekman Group that there's a limit to the number of people we could reach, particularly in workshops. Uh, what takes a kind of skill that we frankly don't have? We've got the information, we know how to teach it, but we don't know how to format it in a way that a large number of other people can learn it, become trainers. Uh, we knew that it was necessary to be able to monitor the quality of training. And we fortunately met Cliff Lindsley and to begin uh, about four years ago, developing a partnership Ekman International, which fills in that gap of providing the workshops based on uh, the research I've done uh, to people in many different settings in a number of different places. So I'm really grateful that this work is getting out to a much larger public uh, who can use it. Actually, more than 40 years, so that. 50 years of that, including the years I was a student. Well, I really got to understand how the academic world works, and to some extent, how the federal support for research works, and the ins and outs and maneuvering that needs to be done. But I certainly didn't understand anything about how to run a business. And I think I made every mistake that's possible. And the hardest thing to find is the combination of competency, ethics, and congeniality. It took me a while to figure out those are the three things you need to find, and they don't usually come in the same person. But when they do, seize the opportunity. And as we got to know Cliff, we found he's a guy who's got all three of those and is dedicated to this work. So it's been a very fruitful partnership. At the beginning, of course, I was quite worried. What was going to happen? Uh, would it work? Would there be success? Would we find we'd make a mistake? Would their quality assurance not really occur? Because what I wanted was a very high level that I don't think exists anywhere else in the world where science has been translated into training, practical training, and monitored carefully. And to my great pleasure, it has worked. It succeeded. Uh, there are, I can't tell you how enjoyable it is for me to think that there are dozens of people who I've never met who are using this, learning it, liking it, and teaching it to other people. It's uh, a great pleasure.